Hey everybody, welcome back to NL Plays Darkest Dungeon. We're just gonna start here. Um, and we have the opportunity, we can do a level 3 mission now. But we could do a medium level 1 mission. Ooh, that gives us a bloodthirst ring. Minus 8 dodge. Consumes almost no food, or zero food, but has plus 10% max HP. That would be a great item for Quill. I think... What do you mean send you out again? No. What is, what is that over here? Aren't you at... What are you getting in the sanitarium? You're in the sanitarium. I can't send you out. Anyway. Um, we're going to get the team back together here, basically. First off, if you got an item, deposit it into this area, please. I have two items. Alpaca Patrol. He can keep that. Who else did we had? Quill. Quill will deposit his items, but he is going to come out on this mission. This is going to be our B-team mission. You're familiar with the B-team. And we're going to go to the ruins, just because the ruins are safe. I know about them. Oh, but you can see what you get here. Oh, you know what? How did I not realize that shit? We've got to go down here into the, the Weald. I know that might not be how it's pronounced. The Veld. So that we can get uh, more deeds. No wonder I have such a huge surplus of these items. Okay, we're going to come down here to get more deeds so we can upgrade our blacksmith area. And we're going to send the B team. That means Rob in this spot. I'm going to put Quill in the number one slot. Uh... Mathis 2.0 is going to occupy the number two spot, and Malls is going to be at the back. I'm sorry, Jester. I can't justify it yet. Maybe if we need it, but we got a great dream team going on right now that I don't want to break up. Okay. You are a leper. Let's see what we have here. Hellion only. Can't use. Bounty Hunter only. Can't use right now. Jester only. Can't use. Bounty Hunter only. So this is the unusable stuff. What about class-specific stuff? I guess they already have that on them. So I want stuff that lowers your dodge chance. Yes, because your dodge chance already at zero. It seems to make sense to, to crank it even lower. I don't... Did I give you this? Gives you lower accuracy. Sure, you know, we'll keep you with that. That's fine. You had a good thing going. Um, let's go back to Mathis next. Mathis 2.0, I should say. Mathis 2.0. I don't think we want to lower his accuracy. He has been... He doesn't have the best accuracy. Let's just be honest. Is there anything that raises his accuracy? Melee raises accuracy, lowers crit. And ah, you know what? You should take off the move boots. We'll give the move boots to Mathis, Quill. Give the move boots to Mathis, Quill. You're going to wear the steady bracer for the extra uh, damage. Lower crit, but extra damage. I think that is acceptable. Well, it's not extra damage, sorry, but it's extra accuracy, which is excellent. When he does a melee attack, which is all he does, so it seems like a good choice. Now, Mathis, you're going to have the boots. Fucks up your dodge, gives you better protection. Maybe you won't have the boots. Plus 15% chance to bleed skills. Do we roll any bleed skills with, with Mathis? No. No, we do not. Um, okay. You know what? I really don't want to lower your damage, but upping your dodge might be acceptable. Low, it lowers your accuracy, sorry, is what I meant to say. If your accuracy mod is already zero, this seems to affect it not at all. And uh, let's give you a sun cloak for even more dodge. But that doesn't seem to make it higher either. I don't know. Maybe it's because the sun cloak, the, the effects are only seen in the light. All right, not Garin. Uh, Alpaca Patrol. You already have... High damage, lower death blow resist, and you eat more, but that's not that bad. Someone's got to hold on to this for uh, increased scouting chance. You don't, uh, oh, it's Hellion only, so we'll throw that down here. I don't really want to give you move resist. I'd much rather give move resist to our, uh, to our vessel here at the back, because she is going to be not very useful in a lot of other positions, so... I think it makes sense to keep her back here. Lowers her speed, lowers her dodge, ups her protection and move resist. That's fine. And uh, might even be good. Rob, you get the choice of either plus scouting or minus disease resist but high other resists. I'm going to give you the scouting chance because I think that's really effective for trap resistance. Okay. You also get extra damage in the whale to begin with. So you're, you're rolling out of control here with these damage mods. For now, let's provide. It is uh, a short mission. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, usually maybe 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One shovel. I took two shovels. 
I'm also gonna throw... I'm gonna spend all our money. Got two anti-venom and uh, one bandage. The paths are littered with poisonous traps. Now you hopefully understand why I took the two anti-venoms. This is not a terrible room layout. So we're gonna start up here. We gotta complete 100% of room battles. What is this? Eerie spider web. Let's set fire to it. That item had no effect. Are you kidding me? We're not touching that eerie spider web. Why would we ever touch a, an eerie spider web? Seems ridiculous. All right, we had decent light. We surprised them. With a free turn, we might be able to get away with this. This is the B team, but they ain't useless. So Intimidate uh, knocks them back. I do want to kill this fungal artillery. They're all annoying. How much damage does it do? 88%? What's the move resist? We don't know. Let's move them back. Let's see how it works, at least. That did good damage as well. Moved that unit up to the position where we can probably uh, take it out. I'm gonna try just a wicked slice to. Oh, Mathis, why? Every time. Pick to the face. Just get this unit taken out before it can deal any uh, damage from afar. I, uh, I know we could go for a stun. We're probably not gonna get the kill with this uh, judgment. Does four to eight. Yeah, it only gives us like a 34% chance of actually getting the kill. Let's go for the stun instead. Rob still has to go. No, nobody has to go. Nobody has to go. So stun the fungal artillery. Oh, you fucking suck. Everybody's fired. Goodbye forever. We still get to go first, thankfully. Um, so we'll get a chop out of this. Everyone's still fucking fired. There we go. Now we got these two units back close to one another. I don't love it, but we'll uh, we'll have to deal with some attacks from them. Groping swipe. Mathis dodges an attack. He's got 25 dodge stat, which is actually incredible. Uh, Mauls will go for the stun on the unit that has not attacked. It lands. They're stunned. Now it's gone. That's all right. We get to go first, probably. Five damage. Hugh does four to eight. Pretty good chance of getting the kill and some rollover damage on the fungal scratcher. That's pretty good stuff there. And then Mathis finished the job. Finish the job. Nice. Okay. You may be the B team, but the B stands for, well, I wouldn't necessarily say better, but b bygone, they're all right. So we'll check out this room. That's another spell of combat here. That surprise is extremely valuable because we can probably kill them all without having to worry about it. So uh, we're going to grape shot the shit out of them. And then we're going to have flashing daggers. Dude, the AoEs are just way too strong here. Then the hue. And then uh, Mauls can finish up with the kill. Pretty much laid the smack down on them there. Game didn't even know what's up. Did I just say lay the smack down on them? All right. Quill. Traveler's Tent. Set it alight. That item had no effect. That's bullshit. You know it to be true. Oh, the fate of the tent's occupant is revealed. We got 25 stress. Holy crap. That's a little high. Oh, it's a little much, I'd say. Sax contents are yours. Uh, 50 gold. To the victor go the spoils of, you know, two-thirds of a food purchase. Surprise him. Oh, every time I say surprise him, it's like an extra 50% chance that we actually get screwed. This move is fine because it doesn't uh, ruin anything for any of our other units. We can deal with this layout without having to make more moves. Oh. I would rather have our standard layout, but everybody has unattack they can throw out here at least. Good dodge. I mean, it was the same as the other dodges, but good, good dodge, man, for sure. Are you kidding me? Not too happy about uh, those big misses there. I am. I'm thrilled with the dodges. The misses are driving me crazy, though. It's a shame that didn't get the kill, but hopefully Rob can finish the job. And that's pretty good. Got a skeleton key out of it. And again, these deeds are going to be so useful for upgrading our blacksmith so that we can actually, you know, get our units better quicker. I think our layout is working out pretty well for us here. Not going to touch that grave. Maybe I'm being a big old baby about it, but at the same time, I don't want to desecrate any graves here. All right, we get to move our way back. Uh, and again, it's complete 100% of room battles. You know what? You're a grave robber. Why don't you desecrate this grave, Rob? 
Grave digging is not the healthiest of professions. Prof professions, sorry. He's a grave robber. That's his thing. The match is struck. A blazing star you don't need to gone. narrate every time I strike a match. We're going to be fine. Don't worry about it, dog. You know what? I'm going to go over here. I'm going to raise the light of Darkest Dungeon just a little bit. You know what? I think that's a much more accurate uh, lighting impression to what I'm getting in the game there. Hopefully, that brightens it up a little bit for you. We're going to eat. That's why we took the food. I am probably consistently taking too much food. I think that's better than the alternative, though. And hopefully we get some huge levels up here. Uh, what do you think? Well, that's Rob's business again. Mummified remains. Maybe a torch? No, that item had no effect. One of these days, we're going to burn something and it's going to be good. The hero becomes diseased. They resisted the blight, though, so I don't even get to use my anti-venom. I'm, I'm sadly or weirdly kind of sad about that. Surprise? No, that's okay. Hopefully we get to go first. So we're going to go straight for this fungal artillery at the back. Um, thinking about this, I don't really want to intimidate them, but I don't really want to do, so how are the rest of our moves going to go? We want to kill this guy. Does it matter if we push him up to the front? No, because everybody else can still attack him anyway, but Mathis can do a melee attack if we push him back. But what if we do Hugh and then Grape Shot? I doubt Grape Shot will get the kill. So yeah, okay, let's try Intimidate. Wow! We... That was the right choice. Now Mathis will definitely Grape Shot because it'll get the kill on the back and maybe the dude in the middle. And then uh, Mauls... Uh, I wish that had worked, but... Um, we resisted the Blight anyway. Mauls will just go for the kill on the Fungal Artillery and missed, but hey, still a great turn. Hopefully this is not going to move us. Good. Uh, maybe that's not a move attack to begin with. So this is definitely Hugh territory. And then uh, whatever else we can offer here is pretty good. You know what? I think we should actually go for the stun. Just to make sure they don't get a chance. And they only have one HP left anyway. That also raised our light thanks to the, um, the secondary ability of it. And uh, pick to the face. They only had one HP, so we didn't need to use lunge for that. This expedition at least Getting some busts. Uh, Rob, this is your time to shine here. All right. Into this room. So far, so good. Our flowchart for Darkest Dungeon is working out fantastically for us right now. The fact that we're getting extra scouting opportunities is so good as well. All right, we're going to keep it moving here. There's no camping here. This is your domain. Oh, no. Mathis is like, don't give him that shit anymore. It has a map inside, but we've already scouted recently. All right, Mathis, go ahead. Stashed heirlooms. Deeds? I believe in Mr. Deeds. Pray for the man in the middle, the one that looks like Doolittle. That's all I'm saying. Blanket fire dodge. Uh, not so bad, all things considered. Okay. What do you think the odds are we can move this guy to the back and then just stun the shit out of him while we take out his minions? It still does a decent amount of damage while intimidating as well. Oh, he resisted all that shit. Um, I think we go for the pistol shot at the fusilier. It doesn't matter because Mathis can't aim. I guess we pick to the face the big guy. We're going to focus on taking him out of the equation because, you know, our, our plans have failed here. Bleed? Yeah, bleed. That's alright. She'll bandage. It's going to be her turn in a second anyway. This bleeds as well. No, maybe I'm talking out of my ass. Okay. Use a bandage. Then she's going to go for the stun, but she's going to stun uh, the Fusilier. Oh, she can't. Okay, well, I still think it's best to go for the stun on the big guy, even though it only has a 50% chance. Nice. Okay, that, that's very good. Lucky RNG for us. Oh, Rob, you're the greatest that mankind has ever had here. We've got so many standout players. I don't want to give anybody the, the player of the game, you know, if they don't necessarily deserve it. But everybody's doing so well right now that uh, I'm, I'm just loving it. It's like coaching a little kid's soccer team. That, uh, that crit was nasty. But that's all right. We can... Uh, can throw out I think a, a, an attack here like a wicked slice works pretty well and then it allows us to focus on our last unit should have gone for the other unit I guess because the the fusilier had recently attacked that's something I'll hopefully learn in time concentration we're gonna spend some time just healing up here because uh, quite honestly we can just afford to hopefully this guy doesn't get to go next lucky us 
Um, just go for the chop, man. Finish the job. Stress is doing all right. Inventory is straight up full. We got an item a bounty hunter can only wear. Lovely. Well, you know what? Um, when we go through this door, we'll crack open a torch. Got a scout, and that last room should have combat in it. In radiance, may we find. Victory. We do have one open inventory slot now, and we're coming up to our second last area. Oh, we bought a shovel. Nature herself. We got two shovels. A victim to this you might say you spend way too much money on shovels, Northern Lion. What if we use a shovel on this guy? Oh, that was a total waste. But anyway, I think it's a good idea. Treasures are encased within the remains. That was unexpected. Damage stone. Lower dodge, but higher damage. That is our leper in a nutshell there. Take off the um, take off the move resist. Put this on. Do you have any spaces open? Uh, that kind of sucks. But anyway. Extra damage for lower dodge. Can't dodge anyway. Or has a below uh, one chance of dodging. I don't mind this. And I think we're going to finish this mission just fine anyway. That's a pretty good item to find inside of that mummy. Anyway, what I was talking about before with shovels is, yes, I probably spend too much money on them for the amount that they actually work out for us, but at the same time, it, uh, it saves us from so much stress if we get saved from it. Let's have Rob try to handle this. Disarmed it. I like it. Pop a torch quickly. Pop a roach quickly. We'll even use one more here, because we're about to fight the final wave of enemies anyway. And we got some treasure here. We have a skeleton key. I don't know if we need it here, but we have one. Alright, straight up. We're going to go to town on these cultist acolytes. They scared the shit out of me. Intimidate this guy. Boom. Took off half his HP. Pushed him back. Now we got a cultist acolyte up at the front. We're probably going to get bled. No, we resisted. This hurts. 20 stress. 15. That's rough. We're probably going to get bled. We're definitely going to get hit. We're probably going to get bled. Resist it again. You're a good person. I like you. Um, we're going to go Wicked Slice. Oh, you moved. You moved. Okay. We'll still go Wicked Slice, because if we kill him, that'll move one of them up. Beautiful. Uh, okay. Hit these two units with the flashing daggers. Move resist. I just took off his move resist. Ah, he still resisted. Okay. All right. Um... Then we go for the stun. What's your stun resist? Oh, your dodge chance is so stupid high, though. I'm actually going to do something a little unlike me. I'm going to go for the nearly guaranteed stun chance on the front unit, just so we can avoid the status effect of bleed. We're going to have to deal with these two at the back, but there's not that much we can do about it. Math is picking up all those last hits. Much appreciated. Keep it, you know, Dota style. Um, we're gonna throw out another stun against the cultist brawler, and unfortunately that one missed. Still, pick to the face on the uh, cultist acolyte, and that'll finish that job. And then we just got one melee unit to deal with, and we might even be able to kill them right now. Oh, that hurts. Their dodge stat is not that high. Two dodges in a row is annoying. Whatever, we get to go again. And that crit for 30 goddamn two damage. That is just absurd. Good stress relief. You're probably still gonna need to get helped out once we get to the town, but... I appreciate it. The key unlocks a hidden compartment. We got some holy water and 200 gold. Well, I mean, the holy water doesn't do anything for us. That was a great, another great mission. Look, we've been knocking it out of the park lately, but this one's particularly huge because it's the B team. They're going to get some, some much needed experience, and now we might have enough deeds. What do we get? Eight? We got eight deeds. That might be enough to upgrade to uh, armor smithing so we can get our people some more protection. We got some level twos. Uh, Mathis and Alpaca Patrol. I think Alpaca Patrol is already there, but Mathis got it. He also got faded. Chance to turn any miss into a hit. That seems good, because he's terrible at aiming. And weak grip, minus crit chance on melee. That's not so bad. Nymphomania in uh, in the Bravo, plus 20% stress heal. That, it could be worse, honestly. Let's head back to town. I think we'll try to do another short mission over the course of this video. All right, so Kate will not pray, which I think is bullshit because she will only pray, right? Okay, Nick no longer as clumsy. God-fearing will only pray. We gotta send her back to the sanitarium. I'm so fucking mad. She's a good unit, but she's a pain in the ass right now. Okay, increase number of slots. Will that allow us to upgrade our blacksmith still? We just need armor smithing. 
It's going to take eight. Oh, I don't think we'll be able to do it. Still. I think we need armor smithing. Every plan relies upon a strong arm. And then we can at least fix Kate in the sanitarium. Yeah, we can't quite do infirmary. We need another two crests, which is embarrassing. But anyway, um, we can throw Kate in here for like the fifth time in a row. She's going to be way behind. She's going to be at risk of being on the B team, honestly. And we're going to get rid of uh, God-fearing. I would like to do stress relief, but we don't have that much. Uh, we don't have that much gold. Are we gonna knock out like another short mission right now? Medium apprentice, medium apprentice. So we've only got medium missions for that level. We do have one short mission uh, on the Warrens, which gives us more crests and more paintings. So I guess crests are like the the standard. I don't want to send out the same B team. Like, Quill's a little stressed. What if we send out the Jester? What's our Jester looking like? He's got the Dirk Stab, Harvest, Slice Off, and uh, some Ballads. Doesn't he have some Stress Relief options? Or is it, Okay, Inspiring Tune. Target. Stress Heal plus three. That seems kind of bad. How much stress does Quill have? Forty-one. That's not terrible. I'll tell you what, here's how I'm seeing it right now from my eyes. Um, I think with Quill's stress, we send him somewhere cheap like the tavern. Drinks for 850, he'll feel good. Then we go on the short mission here in the Warrens. We'll embark, well we, we can't embark yet. Um, and that's gonna be, I can't even go on this mission. Yeah, they, like, they won't let me. Uh, we're going to send Rob out again, and we're going to send Malls out again, and we're going to send Mathis out again. Lord knows he needs it. Hopefully we get some more gold out of this, because I do want to upgrade our armor now, but we need to have enough to provide for ourselves as well. And we'll throw out uh, a Denny here, who is a level 1. That's not that bad. And we'll, uh, we'll provide. Let's just look at her. She's pretty much got the skills that I want. She doesn't have Iron Swan, but the other skills are good enough. And let's, let's make sure everyone's got something going on here. Definitely want her with a, a blood charm. And bounty hunter only, so that'll go down here. Bleeding pendant, sorry. Then blood charm. Do we want a blood charm as well? I don't know. Let's give... Uh, I don't want to lose accuracy, so sure. Let's give you a blood charm. Lots of blood items. Mathis is decked out. Mauls is decked out. And Rob. Rob has the good stuff, right? Or, don't, no, wait, Quill has the good stuff. So we're actually going to take his Steady Bracer, and we're going to take his Damage Stone. Let's look at our Hellion. What's our Hellion's dodge chance? She is here. We should give our Hellion a name. Let's get rid of this Blood Charm. And instead, we'll replace it with um, the lower crit but higher accuracy, I think. All right, so you're going to have a name... You're going to be Liza Minnelli. Because it's the first name that popped into my mind. Alright, let's provide. It's a, it's a short mission. We can probably get away with eight food. Let's at least give it a try. If we end up having to starve, shit happens. We're going to take one shovel. We're going to take 12 torches. We're going to take a bandage. We're going to take an anti-venom. I think we can get away with just this. Let's take another uh, each of the bandages and the uh, anti-venom just to make sure. I mean, we're going to be inflicted with bleed. We're going to be inflicted with uh, blight. We're, we're going to find an opportunity to use them. The only question is whether or not this is the cost prohibitive way. Explore 90% of rooms. Actually, we can do this very easily with a, a linear path, which is awesome. All right, books. Who's the smartest one here? Maybe our vessel. Most unsettling passage. So that is 25 stress. Tell you what, that's the last time I'm ever reading a fucking book. If you have a bad experience with a book, never read them again. That's my philosophy. That was an extremely easy first room. We're going to get some scouting in all directions here. There's a trap coming up, but Rob's been okay about dealing with those. What, what the heck is this thing? Dinner cart. A cart of human remains. You know what? We're going to do it because I bet worst case scenario we get blighted and then we can use an anti-venom. Some of this meat looks edible. Two food, 50 gold. Hey, look, I don't know if that was great, but hey. We're going to try to disarm the trap. 
Rob got it done. What a man, what a man, what a man, what a mighty good man. That's all I'm saying. Rob, MVP of this mission so far. You're going to get yourself a Pizza Hut Player of the Game Award if you keep playing like that, my friend. We get more scouting, and we're definitely going to have some combat here. But we're going to go to this room. We can't avoid the combat. And uh, I, I kind of welcome the combat. Maybe we can actually get some stress relief out of it if we get some crits. Oh, I hate this one. This is a stressful attack if it lands. This is a bleed. Well, at least we have a use for a bandage. That was... Look, I wouldn't have done that. There, he already had bleed, but I appreciate it nonetheless, I guess. Um, I think we try to take out the... Vomiter. Because I would rather have bleed than have stress. Now, Breakthrough. It has a small chance to get a kill and damage these two. But I think we're just going to go for the straight up, you know... Double stun on the front. It does debuff us, but that's alright. We have other DPS ready characters here. Um, we're going to try a pistol shot. That was a great crit. I should have used uh, the bandages on him. I just cost him 1 HP for no reason. Uh, we don't need to use you to do a stun anymore, so you might as well just go for some damage. That's alright. That miss, there is almost never a situation in which there will be a more acceptable miss than that. Don't feel bad about that one. So Grape Shot, you know, let's just double it basically. It has a chance to do 6 to 12 damage. Whereas Wicked Slice is 6 to 12 with a higher percentage chance and a higher crit. So we're just going to go for it. That's alright. We ran the math. It should have... Uh, that was probably still the better option. Pick to the face does its job. We're, oh, we should have... Should have used a bandage on Mantis again. Took our small chance at a kill and actually got it. And uh, then we'll use Barbaric Yop again. And hopefully this will get a stun. 75% chance it does. We're getting debuffed to shit, but... That goes away with time. We're very unlikely to encounter another piece of combat anyway. And Mathis gets the kill. Pretty easy. Picking up some deeds. If we get more of those, I'd like it. But crests are what we're going to need right now to upgrade uh, our sanitarium. And money. Crank up our light a little bit. Our debuff is gone. I'm really liking that we're in a position right now where I'm comfortable sending my, my teams out on two missions in a row. We were not in that position at all. Got a map, which will give us some scouting. We were not even close to being in that position before. Every time we sent somebody out on a mission, they would get super stressed out. They'd have to come back, go to stress relief. Now we're doing a great job of managing their stress in the missions. Which is obviously a much more preferable option. We have combat here for sure. Maybe a good surprise. No, that's okay. We do get to go first. I think this is... um. I think this is pick to the face on the cutthroat guy. There's not much else we can do here unless we did like a lunge on this guy. Could kill him. 13% uh, chance to kill. I think we go pick to the face. I really like the grave robber, like melee ranged combo that we can throw out here. Terrible that we didn't dodge that. Uh, Math Mathis goes for the pistol shot kill. Close. AOE will take care of it then. Maybe with like a breakthrough or something. But uh, yeah, we'll probably do breakthrough because his stun chance is too high, so. I did get a kill. Six damage on top of it to the uh, the big bad here is not so bad. And that is a good target now. We didn't get moved back, but that's a great target to use our uh, Divine Grace on. That's the minimum heal, but it's okay. We don't want to go... We don't necessarily want to go for the stun on our big bad. Because he's really... He's good. Instead, I kind of just want to knock him out as quickly as possible without debuffing our you know our main DPS unit. Although we kind of have a pretty, you know I wonder if we could kill him here. It's a low chance. Let's just go for the pick instead. Um because I don't want to fuck up our movement. But um yeah, it would debuff our one of our main DPS units, so I don't want to do it. And I don't think we need to go for a group heal here. You have seven HP? Isn't there a small chance that like this will work then? It didn't work, but that's okay. We got the self-heal for three. I don't even know if she was wounded, but that's fine. Blanket fire. Very annoying. We're breaking our rule of not going for the DPS units at the back here. That's all right. Hopefully we get uh, yeah, a little stress relief for that. And Wicked Hack. I thought that was going to finish the job, honestly. That's okay. Uh, I trust our Hellion to finish. So I am going to heal them up. 
And actually, you know what would be awesome is if we can get the stun. Never mind. It got the kill and debuffed them. I didn't think that one through. They only had one HP. Book of Sanity. Better stress resist. Terrible stun resist and terrible debuff resist. But still, this might be the kind of thing we want to throw on Rob right now. Who has scouting chance. We'll give him this book because his stress is not looking so good. Let's take off the uh, move resist and I'll give uh, you the scouting chance instead. Because I do like the scouting chance. I can't deny that. And let's keep our lights on here because, you know, we can't get a little stressed out. Debuff's gone. Alright. We only have, after this one, we have two more rooms to go to. And then the mission will be over. So I'm glad I did do this one in conjunction with another mission because it's uh, it's quite a short one. We're about to have combat, so we should have high light. So we have a surprise chance and a worse chance of being surprised ourselves. Munch is blight. Okay, we'll use anti-venom. Because we bought it, we might as well freaking use it. They all have low HP. We'll go for the uh, the AOE attacks that hit three units. It could possibly get a triple kill with our Hellion. Alright, resisted the Blight. I like it. You're already Blighted, so I don't really care if you get Blighted again. You're going to use Anti-Venom. And then, uh, probably Flashing Daggers. Yeah. Flashing Daggers, these two. You got a kill, and then um, we could Barbaric Yop, but I think we're just going to be fine with um, a Breakthrough. Got both kills. That's fine. That's better than fine. Blightstone. Ups Blight skills, lowers HP. We don't need that right now, but the Sapphire for a thousand gold is awesome. This is our second to last room. We are skipping a little bit of... We're not skipping treasure, but we're skipping like the areas where um, there could be treasure. Like the FTL instances, if you know what I mean. So let's keep our light high because I really don't want to make our units more stressed out than they need to be. Because this is their second mission in a row. Hunger. Yeah, eat it up, man. See if I care. We still took way too much food, even though I thought we were taking too little. This is the last room we have to go to. We will probably do one more if we can. You know, we'll see how our stress looks after this. We surprised them. That is terrible for them. Which is awesome for us. Okay. We really want to kill the drummer. I'm, I'm not loving pistol shot. I gotta be straight with you. I think maybe we're better off just going straight up grape shot. And the way that we'll take out the units at the back is by wounding them and then taking out the units at the front so they move up and become much more of a target for us. Like, three of our AoE attacks combined here tore them apart. With a couple of different options, we could stun the unit at the back. Or we could stun the drummer. But I think we just go for the straight up kill on the drummer. And then we deal with the fact that this guy is going to vomit on somebody next turn. And we just hope it isn't Rob. Actually, they might not get a chance if we get super lucky with our turn order here. Yeah, I think we will. That went totally fine, as you might expect. As victories mount, and that's so the end of this mission. We also got a dark crown, uh, which makes it makes us worse in the light, which I don't really like. Contents of the chest are ours. Six hundred gold. Uh, our inventory's full, but we could still fill it with more gold. I think we might as well check out this area over here. There's going to be a trap. And nothing in that room. Well. I don't know. Maybe we'll give it a try. Rob got hit. Stress? Yeah. Two stress. Or 13 stress. That sucks. Pack contains loot, though. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Valued 250. Well, you know, if it's valued at 250, we can take it. We can get rid of the anti-venom. I really doubt we're going to need that. And the gold goes a long way, dog. Helps out. In radiance, may we find victory. This will be our final area over here. Unless we really, really want to do something else. Alright, that's it. Good stuff, though. We got 3,000 gold. Two paintings, or two portraits, two crests. 4,250. So we got 7,250 total gold. We also picked up some extra deeds. Not very many, though. It's kind of... I mean, it was an easy mission, so I'm not surprised, but... That's okay. Rob has now ascended from the B team. Liza Minnelli is on yielding. Death blow resist is good. Maul's got... Uh, in the ruins, she does extra damage. That's all right. I mean, plus 15% damage on most of her skills that we actually use for damage is literally like plus 0.1. But still. Quill is no longer stressed out. That's good. And we've, we've kind of just been grinding here a little bit. Kate also had God-fearing removed, which is great. Um, we do have enough crests now to upgrade our sanitarium to get two people taken care of at once. Which is what we were looking for. Before we get two people's stuff taken care of at once, I think we're going to go to the blacksmith and we're going to have the A-team 
At least the first three members of the A team have their stuff upgraded. So I'll get in here and let's give ourselves uh, better armor. Gives us better HP and uh, double the dodge chance. And we'll have Bear come in here. Gives us a little bit of HP, higher dodge chance. We'll have Nick come in here. Better HP, double the dodge chance. We have to get uh, Rob some stress relief. We can, what is it? Does he like anything? Known cheats, so he can't gamble, but he can drink. And we're a little bit low on money. Probably low enough that I wouldn't want to spend more on the sanitarium uh, before we do like a medium mission to get some more money back. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.